and we're live here at Bromsgrove Railway Station for the preview of the BOD, the Bromsgrove On Demand Community Shuttle Bus. And with me I've got Councillor Adam Kent, who's responsible for transport. We've got Councillor Karen May, who's the leader of Bromsgrove District Council, and Alan Amos from Worcestershire County Council. Let's start with you, Adam, because this was your baby, your brainchild. What do you think now today has arrived? Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. You, you think about when Alan was helping us with the, the electric bus bid that we didn't work with, we didn't work through. The disappointment there, where we've actually arrived at something that I think is probably going to be better, really. I, mean, I think we're going to move on to electric and, and the green element at a later stage, but to deliver something that gives the residents so much more than what they've got at the moment, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. And explain a little bit how it works, how's it going to work in practice? Well I, I think one of the biggest problems you have with buses really is if they're really well used then they survive and they continue and they grow but the trouble is we've all seen great big 40 seaters with two people on going from A to B that you can't help but notice that they're going to be losing money and obviously the bus operators have got to be able to, to, to make enough money to justify the service. So I think what we've got here is smaller buses that are on demand that mean somebody can go from where they, where they are to exactly where they want to go without worrying about which service do I have to get on here and how do I do it. So just utilising an app in a similar way to the way you would normally do that. I'm requesting a bus from here and I go to the town centre and then it delivers it. So and, and one of the big issues for us was that connect connectivity between the town centre and the train station. We can't get across the five o'clock. You can get to Bromsgrove in ten minutes but sometimes it can take you twice as long to get into the town centre for that final mile. And it's all about the first and last mile, isn't it? So this isn't a bus that you'll call upon and say, take me to Birmingham New Street or take me to Kidderminster. This is, this is all about the, uh, the, the, the first and last mile. Well, it is. And, and Worcestershire County Council has invested a huge amount in brilliant railway stations. I mean, look at this brand new one, effectively, that we're at now. So I, I, th I, think, I think really to, to have something like this, but then for it to be so difficult to get to, is is really it's a hard problem to solve and I think with the help of Worcestershire County Council here we've actually we've nailed it. Now it starts on Monday people can get the Worcestershire On Demand app um, it's available on iPhone and on your Android Play Store isn't it um, but there isn't there is um, going to be obviously um, techniques people can use if they don't have the technology so they can they can call it can't they? Yeah we're going to be publicising phone numbers and it's not just that you can take a, a bus from where you are at that particular point you're actually going to be able to schedule rides say how many passengers there are on the app and everything else as well and you can use your own existing bus pass as well so there's going to be a, a low flat there I think it's £2.50 for the fare but effectively it means within the, the area that we've got so when you download the app you'll see a big circle around you that shows you the zone which is a bit like the London Underground really I suppose it's, it's transport for Bromsgrove in Worcestershire really but it shows you the zone so it effectively means somebody could go from one friend's house to another using the local virtual stops and those virtual stops will be created on an agile basis that's where we see them so if you're particularly infirm or an elderly person, it's perfectly feasible that you could have a virtual stop at the bottom of your drive. Excellent. Karen, if we move on to you, now obviously a big problem in Bromsgrove is rural transport because we've got plenty of outlying villages. How's it going to help in that respect? Absolutely, this is the connectivity option for Bromsgrove. This will solve many of the issues of people saying they have to drive to the station. They'll be able to call the bus, get straight into the stations, be it long-term Hagley, I'm looking to, to roll this out. I'm looking beyond the two buses, Tristan. I, I want to develop this programme already. I find it so exciting, it's totally innovative, and it's wonderful that we've been selected as the first area in Worcestershire to roll this out. And it's gonna make it easier, isn't it, to, to line up this transport with other forms, so like your bus to Birmingham or your, or your train to, uh, to Worcester. So it's gonna be easy to do it that way, isn't it? Yeah, if the train's delayed here and, and you get here and the bus isn't on time, you can call this and you can get straight the way through to your next and businesses up on Bunsford Hill will be so pleased by this because many people for business arrive in Bromsgrove um, and they come here and there's no signage or anything to say where we're going or where the, how you get to the town centre. I'm keen to address that. So to me, this is absolutely fundamental. I could arrive here for a business meeting, jump on this bus, go up to Bunsford Hill, call the bus back and take myself back to the station. Excellent. Now going back to the fares, Adam, <laughs> you said £2.50 for, um, I mean obviously that's just a, sh a short trip. I I is there going to be like a monthly option available or? 
Um, I, I, I think I'm sure there's going to be season tickets and whatever, but I was, obviously this is we're running this as a pilot. And one of the things I think Worcestershire County Council has discovered in the last 18 months is agility. And some of the things that we've had to adapt to incredibly quickly, we have done with, with absolute style, to be brutally honest. And I think with this really, this is about learning as we go along, seeing what the demands are and then tweaking it to make sure that it meets all the needs of all the residents. Now, Alan, you're going to be keenly watching this in anticipation. Um, do you think it's, uh, what do you think of the scheme and, and what about the prospects of rolling it out across the county? I think it's very, very exciting. It is a pilot, but I hope it's the first of many. We do in fact want to roll this kind of thing out across the whole county. This is, a, this is buses back in Bromsgrove, but this is a, a county-wide initiative. Uh, we're supporting Bromsgrove on and we want to roll it out across the whole of the county. Have we got a time scale for that? or? As soon as possible. It's my time scale. Um, obviously we've got to look at this, learn from this one, um, but there won't be any, any impediment in rolling it out across the rest of the county, I can assure you. So what we need really now is people to come on board, test it out, try it out and give you some feedback. Yes indeed. Please, please, please people use it. This is really exciting, it's very convenient, it's simple to use. We get you from A to B, when you want, where you want, please use it and so we can roll it out um, throughout the whole county. Okay. Let's just have a little look at that bus in all its glory now. Okay, so this launch is on Monday. It's BOD, Bromsgrove On Demand Transport. You can get the app Worcestershire On Demand and that's available on iPhone and Android.